Craig and I bought the cheapest bikes we could with a budget of only $1,000, which seemed impossible, but we both managed to find something. I got a 1987 Yamaha 750 Virago for 500 bucks. Craig got an 82 400 Special for $1,000, plus five gallons of gas, and a couple two by fours, and a pizza, which means he kind of cheated. And now we're gonna see who got the best bike. So strangely, me and Craig both bought motorcycles kicked into our birth year. Me, 1986. Craig, 1981. I was actually 1980. Now Craig's bike actually runs pretty good. My bike runs good now, but from what we were told, it has an intermittent problem. Uh, the salesman said it was blessed, which basically means it's cursed by a witch, and that has not shown yet. So at any given time, that might come back. But as of right now, it's running pretty good. And I think it's pretty obvious what we have to do right now, and that's a uh, head-to-head drag race. Come on, Craig. Let's race these bikes. Who do you think is going to win? Me. Is your bike even fire up? No. The battery's dead. But watch this. Oh! What do you do when your battery dies? I don't have to. My battery lasts forever. $500 motorcycle. Fire's out that good. I didn't, no, no choke. Come on, Craig, let's do this. How's your expensive bike running? Awesome. Craig, you're breaking your bike. So I figured that my bike would be the fastest. It is the best bike. It is the largest displacement bike. But there's more to a motorcycle than just speed. That's what they tell me. But there's also the health of the motorcycle. And one way to really find out how healthy the bike is, good old fashioned compression test. And that's exactly what we did. This bike is awesome. This says your motor should be around 150 to 160 PSI of compression, Craig. Sounds about right. <laughs> There's five things every motor needs to run. Fuel, spark, compression, air. Someone to push the start button. Key on, full throttle. You always want to check compression, full throttle. Why is that? Uh, it opens up the carb, lets more air in. Uh oh, we're gonna run out of battery. Yeah. You tapped out? Yeah. What's it at? 110. All right, so cylinder number right. 110. 110 pounds. Hopefully that's your weak cylinder. Hopefully. What's cool about these bikes is because they have the chrome fenders on them, the main painted item on this is the tank and these two little side panels. So if you wanted to change the color of the entire bike, it's just take the tank off, paint it, put the emblem back on, bam. Ninety. Yeah, let's call it. One ten and one twenty. Not bad for forty years old. Forty one years old. Sixteen thousand miles or a hundred sixteen thousand miles. All right, now let's do mine. Such a good plug. Fine, look a plug. It'll just stop. All right, one. You hit one fifty. One fifty. Nailed it. I can see that. Something to notice about this uh, this Yamaha Virago, it's not a full frame, so there's, some, there's no frame that goes underneath and, and up around. I don't know why they did it that way, but the frame goes like this, and the engine is a structural part of the whole bike, which means you pull the engine out, the bike just falls just apart, wrinkles together. Stop at 150. Something screwed up that gauge. So I'm at least at 150. Well, I think it's very clear. Who won the race, who won the buy, and who won the compression test. So now that we know that our bikes are somewhat healthy, let's see if this Commonwealth of Pennsylvania considers them to be somewhat safe. Our impartial mechanic 
this is motorcycle mechanic place. This is a Joshua Company garage. He's gonna check these bikes out, tell us if they need anything, and then the winner of this one is the bike that needs the least. What's up, man? It's good. Good to see you. How you doing? Good, man. So we bought these awesome cheap bikes. Uh, mine's much better than Craig's. Craig sucks. Not true. Why? 500 bucks. Oh, that's 500 bucks. 500 oh, bucks. This is a Yamaha. Yeah. You can just check them out and see which uh, which one needs the most and which one needs the least amount of stuff. Was Craig allowed to look at these before you uh, nope. bought them? Nope. Brakes, tires good there. Rear brakes decent. It's a little sketchy. That's not good. That wouldn't pass. All lights barely work. Yeah. They're working. Bare barely. Barely. No. <laughs> I don't think his horn's loud enough. Half decent. Got rear view mirrors. Um, did you take notice of whether the odometer works? It does. It does? It does work. Okay. Oh, brakes. Brake lights. He was probably looking at the speedometer. Yep. That works. That works. That works. Good to go. So let's move to this monster. This piece of junk. This thing's incredible, just to let you know. It look, honestly, like I like the retro handlebars and like a giant backrest. Yeah, the sissy bar is pretty cool. He looked cool on it when he He's pulled in. Absolutely, I look cool on anything. Yeah. Look, look at that brake. It barely even. Yeah, help me out there, yeah. Look at that. That, is that your brake? Yep. Yeah, there's nothing going on back there, so. Oh, maybe that, the bike has to be on. That would, that would fail. Thousand bucks plus five gallons of gas, which equals 1,500 bucks. The back tire, like would pass. All you gotta do is put some shoe polish in those cracks on the... Seems to be a little more brake pad in yours than that one, but yeah, see? that doesn't matter. So, turn signals and um, brake light. And look, your, yours is attached. Doesn't yep. fall off. I'm winning. <laughs> no, you're still solid. So maybe it is. You're just, you're braking all the time. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, there. That's probably it. You got it? How about now? It looks like it got dimmer now. Push on it, push on it. Use the foot brake, try that. Yeah, there you go, what'd you do? Sticky front brake switch. I do my best work in parking lots. That's some good mechanicism right there. That is. Maybe, and maybe you're right. Maybe they were it needs, working. Maybe it needs to, to run, you neutral. Here you go, your man. There they, there they go. They're working now. Try the other one. Absolutely. Yeah, it's flashing. Yeah, horn. I mean, I can't. I don't. I don't think I can hate on either of these bikes. Wow, we bought two less than thousand dollar motorcycles that are considered to be safe in the state of Pennsylvania. Minus my like test drive, like just looking at them, I would say like I I feel safe enough to take them for a test drive. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> it's just a freaking fender. Dan, did you see it? You can go look at that bike real quick. Okay, so somehow through a series of very strange circumstances, both of these under thousand dollar motorcycles passed Pennsylvania State Inspection. That, that blows my mind. But safety, in my opinion, is not just judged by your tires and where you, you know stuff like that. It's judged by the performance of the motorcycle. How fast you can stop to get out of a bad situation and how fast you can accelerate to get out of a different type of bad situation. It's funny because this one doesn't do any of this well. My brakes are not right. It takes as long to get to 65 miles an hour as it does to stop from 65 miles an hour. So that's why we are gonna compare these to the average, actually, we're gonna compare these to an old man Harley Davidson, big, just, you know, big old old man Harley bike. We're gonna do 40 miles an hour, zero, so you can see how fast that stops and see if our bikes can do it in the same distance. And then we're gonna do it in reverse and go to zero to 40 miles an hour and see if we can get there as, just as fast as the Harley can. But first, let me explain why we are giving away these two Honda Navis and how you guys can get one. We just quite possibly launched the most successful crowdfunded motorcycle product in history with this, our M1 Moto Fast Detailer Spray. And one of the best things about it is, it is American. We had two different keys in two different bottles from the manufacturing plant. So every single bottle that you guys buy during the Kickstarter campaign could potentially have the key to a 2022 Honda Navi. These are the exact same bikes that me and Craig used in the Honda Navi video. 
So go to m1motogear.com or click on the link below to join this. You guys can join the revolution. We are creating the best motorcycle detailing spray on the market and the world needs to see it. And here is our old man Harley Davidson, the brand new 2022 Sportster S. Let's go set the benchmark on this old Harley. So first, we're gonna test braking ability and go from 40 miles per hour to zero. That's one. You can really hear those anti-lock brakes kick in. Let's go see how we do on our own bikes. <laughs> I'm about the exact same spot, maybe a hair longer, no, I'm about the same. I did better last time, but I locked up my back tire, I bet it was dope looking. Yeah. This is what happened when I locked up that back tire. That's pretty awesome. Now let's go do 0 to 40 on the old man Harley Davidson. What was my time? 4.48. That's not bad. My question is, how accurate are these old speedometers? There. 4.4, 4.9. Sub five, not bad. There we go. Make sure you put, a nice, I make? put a nice flat spot on your tire. What was my score? 4.9. Sub five. Not bad. That's what I was going for. There we go. There's a nice little flat spot right there on the tire. Nice and sticky. Well, none of us were even close to the uh, old man Harley Davidson. We weren't even close. The thing is though, we didn't buy these bikes to be modern day safe. We're not modern day safe. We bought these bikes to be 80s safe. The bell rings, school's out. Key guitars. S school's out for summertime. You leave your home and you come back three months later to take a bath and then go back to school for your next, for your next school year. You I never saw my parents growing up. Well, I guess when I was in the 80s, I was four, but. Raised by wolves. Craig knows all about the 80s. I do. I am firmly planted in the 80s. So we may not have the safest bikes out there, but that's fine. We're riding motorcycles. Who cares about safety anyway? The big question is, who's got the most valuable bike? Let's go and uh, let's go get these things appraised. There's a lot of you know. Value. You know all about that. You know all about that. Your wife married your your wife married value, not luck. <laughs> <laughs> she got a lot of bang for her buck. This is the one thing about Craig's bike that I'm kind of jealous and I wish my bike had. Oh, man. You just added like five more man points to your man scale. I love kickstarting motorcycles. I'm gonna put a kickstarter on my Road King. Big old kickstarter. Hey, guess what else we're doing, Sean? A kickstarter campaign. So it kind of blows my mind that we were able to buy running, functional, safe motorcycles for less, for a thousand dollars or less. Did you just air quote safe? I did. <laughs> because let's be honest, these are motorcycles. Greg, is there anything wrong with your bike? Um, not really. It doesn't want to start every once in a while, so I got a bad battery, but it kick starts first kick every time. And I don't think there's any oil left in the front forks. I, I've got no oil in my front forks. That's why they're not leaking anymore. They dive pretty hard at a corner or at a stop. Come on, Craig, let's go see what these motorcycles are actually worth. All right, I'm coming. All right, so the people at the dealership didn't have time to put a number on it, so I went to the Harley Davidson app and there's my estimate. Between zero and zero <laughs> is the value of my bike. And I'm sure yours is very similar. <laughs> Mine's got a cult following. 
I'm not gonna do yours because it took me too long to do the first one. All right, I'm gonna assume mine's between a dollar and dollar fifty. That still puts me ahead of yours because I paid five hundred bucks. I don't care. I finally won a challenge. You didn't. That's not a win. I'm counting it. Well, there's more to motorcycles than just the value of the bike and what you could sell it for. I think these bikes can actually make us money. They cost us very little money. They're not worth much, but I think we actually make money with these bikes. I'm gonna show you guys how. So my idea to make money with this motorcycle is of course Grubhub. And no one grubs hubs better than me. I used to deliver pizzas when I was in high school. I wasn't very good at it, but then I got good later. And what makes me so good, you've heard of the 30 minute guarantee? Five minute guarantee. No one's faster at Grubhub than I am. And that's why this bike's gonna make me the big bucks. Let's do it. Now, Craig had a different plan to make money. He was gonna use his motorcycle like a pickup truck. If you wanna buy a big screen TV and it won't fit in your car, I'll gladly help you take it home. Yeah, big screen TV, I can fit. I might be able to fit an appliance. Oh yeah? I can also fit washers and dryers. If, if your car is too small, just let me know. I don't know what's going on. I've talked to countless people. Nobody's really interested in my offer. Plenty of room to strap stuff to. Probably cheat up on the tank a little bit. Definitely fit some sort of appliance here. Big toaster oven, a small washing machine. They're trying to get that refrigerator into their truck, into their trunk. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's fitting. I figured I got a big backrest. I can strap stuff to it. People are trying to get... Right, yeah, yeah. And they're trying to put their TVs in their trunks. I'm like, I got this. They'll pay for the bike, right? The backrest makes the difference because you can strap stuff to it. How you doing? Okay. I'm offering to take big screen TVs home for people when they don't fit in their trunks. <laughs> Maybe a toaster oven, dishwasher. Everyone's surprised, including Craig. Craig got himself a customer. And in your face to my third grade teacher, Mrs. Brown, who said we would never be able to make money with our cheapest motorcycles. We did it, we made money with them. Now, I know you guys did not think that we were gonna wrap this thing up without an old good old fashioned burnout competition, which we are gonna do. But these things can last. If these things can survive the burnout competition, we've got a lot more in store for these things. But I wanna hear what your ideas are. So join our text group, the number's right here, and throw in a couple ideas. Text cheap, and then throw your ideas. I cannot wait to see them, and we're probably gonna do them in the later coming weeks. Also check out our Kickstarter project that we got going on. I'm super pumped, and the thing's just blowing up. It's gonna be great. Burnout competition right now, Craig. Okay, me first? Yeah, you first. Bad idea. Yeah, probably. What else do we have? I think I need something. I don't think I'm going to get it. I don't have enough weight. Hold on, I know what you need. I know what you need. Ready? I don't have enough front brake power.
You guys be the judge. Comment below. We'll see you guys next week.